<clears throat> when I greetings and salutations to you all once again, it is I, the Ravenous Spectre. And I'm actually on a break at work. I figured I wanted to go ahead and make a little bit of video about this. And uh, basically has to deal with a lot of people talking about Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, getting in easy mode. And to be perfectly honest with you, coming from somebody who really does enjoy playing video games on the most easiest mode possible, I really do think that it's obviously not needed. I mean, there's a valid reason as to the reason... There's a valid reason as to the reason why, I guess that makes sense, for uh, um, from software making the challenge as they, as they are. And, and um, the way that the Bloodborne and also the, uh, sorry, I had a brain fart there for a second. The uh, Demon Soul, with Demon Souls, uh, Dark Souls, and also Bloodborne, there was a reason behind their difficulty. Um... I can understand overcoming the challenge, really liking that challenge, and just waiting to get to the next even more challenging boss or challenging enemies or group of enemies or what have you, and really feeling that sense of accomplishment. I totally get it. I totally understand it. It's just not for me. Now, if something happened where they ended up going and actually putting in an easy mode into the game, or just in their games in general, I wouldn't be opposed to it. <laughs> I'm not saying that it needs it. It really doesn't need it. I mean, there's a reason why these games are made like they are. There's a reason why they appeal to certain groups of people. People. And when you look at From Software and you look at their track record, you pretty much know what it is that you should be getting into in the first place. If not, then you probably need to really read up on the games that they put out and, and the, the difficulty that they put in it. But I totally get it. I do. I understand it. I understand the challenge. I understand the reason by, behind people loving the challenge and wanting more challenge in their games and getting uh, really feeling like they're getting their money's worth, really feeling like they're getting uh, some real reward out of it. I totally get it. I really, really do. Like I said, it's just not for me. Because um, I've tried those games before in the past, considering I'm a big RPG guy, but yeah, they didn't work out for me. I actually got farther in Bloodborne than I did in uh, uh, Demon Souls, and I think it was uh, Dark Souls 3 or something like that. I can't really remember. Regardless of that, though, I just wanted to give my little thoughts on the whole situation because Forbes magazine ended up putting out an article sometime back about it, and a lot of people are defending it, and a lot of people are against it. I get it from both sides. I do. Uh, I guess you could say I would want it in their games, but it's not needed in their games. You know, um, basically, it's like, <laughs> it's always like, get good, get good. Well, fuck you. Yeah, you know, I mean, literally, I mean, you go and you tell somebody that that's not going to make them want to play the game. They're just going to be like, well, fuck you, you know, rightfully so. I mean, either you're going to want to play the game and enjoy the game for what it is, or you can just go on to something else. That's just all there is to it. I mean, knowing how many games that we have out there nowadays, an insane staggeringly, staggeringly? Stag, stag, I can't talk today. Sorry, I'm at work. Like I said, I'm on a break, so my brain is like screwed up. <laughs> but anyways, fact of the matter is, is that it doesn't need an easy mode. I'd love it if there was one in there, and that's pretty much it. And my previous experience with the games haven't been, haven't been really pure and fun or nothing like that. Uh, I'd rather just watch people play them. I really do like the artwork in them, though. It's really heavy metal and just badass and bloody and just nasty and filthy and gory and all of that. Uh, Sekiro, I think it pretty much runs along the same lines, but it looks like it's a little bit more tame within that title, at least from what I've seen. But yeah, I, knowing me, I would much rather just want to sit back, watch it, leave it like that, just go ahead and watch uh, somebody play it and uh, just go from there. And who knows, maybe I'll try to rent it or something someday, you know, because I've been hearing this a hell, whole hell of a lot, bleh, a whole hell of a lot different than uh, Bloodborne or Dark Souls, which it, it should rightfully be. It, it should rightfully be, you know. You should have the challenge in there, but mix up, uh, mix up the gameplay. I mean, it makes perfect. Why does that always happen? Anytime when it seems like I end up getting on a video, it seems like I always end up burping or something. I don't understand that. That's that's just weird. Maybe that's going to be like a trademark or something for me in this. I have, I have no freaking clue. I don't know. I'm weird. What can I say in random? But anyways, yeah, if you guys happen to have any thoughts or anything, leave them below, and uh, I'll definitely get into a little chitty chat with you. And I will go ahead and end this like I always do. Later, taters. Time to head back to work.